Hi everyone, this is Emmy, and I'm here today with AllFreeKnitting.com to bring you a video on knitting. Today I'm going to show you Grandmother's Easy Thumb Knit Cast On Method. And to start this method, you have to start with a length of yarn. Um, and you have to estimate for how many stitches you're going to cast on. So for a thick yarn like this, you might need one inch for each stitch you're going to cast on. For a worsted weight, you might need half an inch for each stitch that has to be cast on. So you're going to begin in the same manner as usual for knitting. You're going to make a slip stitch. And the slip stitch is made by bringing the yarn into a circle and then pulling the yarn in through that circle and making a slip knot. And then you can pass that onto your needle and tighten it up. You can cast on your stitches by just uh, winding them around your thumb like this. But the big problem with that method is that um, when you do knit your first row, very often you'll wind up with a, an extra length of yarn between the stitches. So with Grandmother's Easy Method, that doesn't happen. So I'm going to show you how to do that. First I'll make my slip knot and I'll place it on my needle. And you're going to, as you cast on your row of stitches, you're also going to be knitting a row at the same time. So the yarn end is going to remain, that's what you're going to knit with. And you're going to cast on your stitches with your thumb and the yarn that's still connected to the ball. So you're going to hold the yarn in your hand like this. Um, you're going to bring your thumb toward you, picking up the yarn at the same time, and place that yarn on the needle. Then bring the other hand over and yarn over, and then slide that stitch off of the needle. So what you have done, you've cast on one stitch, but you've also knit a stitch. So let's do that again. The yarn is in your hand. Bring your thumb toward you, picking up the yarn. Place it on the needle. Yarn over with the other end of the yarn, bring that over, and snug up that stitch. Okay, so let's do that again. The yarn is in your hand, bring your thumb toward you, picking up the yarn on your thumb, place it on the needle, yarn over with the other end of the yarn, slide the stitch off the needle, and snug it up. Okay, yarn is in your hand, bring your thumb toward you, pick up the yarn, place it on the needle, yarn over, bring that stitch over and slide it off and snug it up. Yarn in your hand, bring your thumb toward you, place on the needle, yarn over, slide that stitch off of the needle and snug it up. Yarn around your thumb, over the needle, yarn over, slide it off. And so that's the grandmother's easy method of thumb knit cast on. And as you can see, if you look on this side, you've not only cast on stitches, you've also a row of stitches that have been knitted. And so if you're doing a pattern that's going to call for knit and purl, knit one row, purl one row, you've already got one row of knitting done. So your first row will begin as your purl row. And that's Grandmother's Easy Thumb Knit Cast On Method. And that's brought to you today by AllFreeKnitting.com. Drop by the site sometime and see all the free resources and patterns they have. Thanks for watching.